You know, it's never until you uh, watch a 65-man ARG and the UK Nationals do you realize that maybe things just aren't so shitty in today's format. Sky Striker Trick Stars, what's that? No longer the best deck, you say? Yeah, they still probably are. But I want to talk about the events and the revelations of this weekend and the cool things that came out of, well, two relatively decent-sized events for what they were. All right, guys. Yeah, Burning Abyss. That's right. All right, let's dig into this. Oh my gosh, Burning Abyss is back at it again! Yep, so UK Nationals has come and gone. And the good news? Fucking Sky Striker Trick Stars didn't win that shit. So... One of the big things going on right now in the TCG is, one, people think that the format's been solved. I agree that it has been solved pretty much to the primary extent to that it would be going into this form, or, you know, nationals and things like that here. Number two, Sky Striker Trick Stars has one of the best ceilings in the game in terms of just plays that you can do, and it's got some bullshit built into it. We're already really aware of this. And then, out of left field, you have this very beautiful contender called Light of Seca, you know, and Burning Abyss uh, and company. So, here's the thing. Light of Seca is bullshit. Uh, somebody, somebody like, oh my god, Robbie, you fucking call everything bullshit. Well, here's the thing. I personally love what Light of Seca gives to these decks. Uh, I have a friend of mine that's been messing around with Mermails for a little bit now. Um... And Light of Seca, it raises the bar for your standardized OTKs and just the things that you can do. I mean, who doesn't love a higher resource pool being given to you at the cost of a couple of spells in your deck? I mean, I don't hear any general complaints. But when you add Light of Seca into a pool of Burning Abyss, uh, you have access to far for what one of the best monsters in the game that can blink something. On top of Dante and company, you know, you kind of enter into this wonderful world of, oh, this deck is pretty fucking good. And then uh, a very old challenger returned to the field. A um, long time ago in Japan, there were 38, 39 card monster decks with Kawaki Meru. Uh, well, I don't know which one it is. It's the, the dark one that caused OTKs by negating monster effects. So what you would do is you would use Gallus the Star Beast to infinitely, you know, burn your opponent by burning through your deck and things like that. You know, because Gallus will trigger every time you burn a uh, Mel Monster. Now, the interesting thing here was, I saw Gallus the Star Beast in this deck. I definitely don't think he was playing the Kawaki Mirror for, like, the cheese. But, the thing was, Gallus the Star Beast is a level 3 that grants you the ability to mill cards. Um, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, <laughs> but Burning Abyss coming out of left field, I did not see this coming. This is a monumentous victory to a lot of players out there. Definitely showcasing that Gallus of Star Beast being able to mill off thing for a little bit of damage. You know, the immense tyranny of Dante returns back to the playing field once again for the best float of Beatrice to float into a, another large boss monster. And like I said, uncanny Farfa blinks on threatening cards seems like, all in all, within the green scheme of things, a very, very, very good idea. Now, I think it was 21 Sky Striker Trickstar decks in the top cut at uh, UK Nationals, solidifying the fact that it was honestly the best deck, but all it takes is something like this Burning Abyss deck, for example, to get into Top Cut. People, one, don't know how to play against it. You know, it was like the true Draco uh, thing that we had when it destroyed Pendulum Magicians, that one event. You know, people stopped siding for it. You know, people didn't honestly know what was going on. And it just takes one event for things to get turned up on their head until people start going back and countering it. Now, I'm not saying people are going to be side decking heavier for Burning Abyss right now. That's not going to be a case. I don't think the deck is good enough to warrant dedicated side cards, but let's be real here for a second. You are now aware that this deck exists. People are going to analyze it. People are going to understand what makes it good. 
will we have another repeat of this? I don't think so. It usually, like I said, it takes something coming out of left field. Uh, Ultra guys, I don't think are going to be able to do it. Pure sky strikers, pure trick stars. If people seem to know about these things, well, they kind of waste their chance. Could rear mills do it? No, because going second OTK decks kind of struggle uggle in that regard, but there's just that. But congrats, Burning Abyss. You took one chip out of the perfect record of Sky Striker Trickstar, and for that, I salute you. So, what else happened this weekend? Justin Sin, actually, 65 people at ARG Atlantic City. Uh, he won the event with DDD Pendulum Magicians. That's right. D, D, D. I look like I have a lazy eye. Fucking DDD Pendulum Magicians. What the fuck? <laughs> Hello? Like, Mom? <laughs> Somebody top the big local out here. Now, 65 people isn't anything to really complain about or, you know, talk about. But here's the thing. There's a lot of innovation in this tournament, a lot of ideas, and I think there's a lot of things worth looking at from this. Um, there was a Gem Knight list, which I do want to talk about later today, which we will definitely do. Don't think we won't. Um, there was a couple of Goki lists, which I don't think I'm going to touch on. Uh, some interesting concepts there. Um, de definitely going to look at Justin Sin's list, because I really fucking like what he was doing with Pendulum Magicians. I know at the beginning stages of the format, uh, last time when DDDs kind of were starting to show up a little bit in the format, um, having access to pop the gate with Electromite after you've done your entire combo extender um, with Servant, Thomas, and Kepler is pretty good. Um, also being able to search for Leonidas at will. Also, something that the deck needed. Being able to have that little extra leverage against a shittier matchup known as, you know, Trickstar. Yeah, I, I gotta hand it to them. You know, it's it's cool in theory. And Justin pulled it off pretty fucking well in general application. So, you know, like I said, the, the event had a lot of weird things coming out of it. Um, seeing Gem Knights show up, yeah, once again, this isn't really a shocker to me. We've seen Gem Knights, ever since Master Diamond went to one, I think a lot of people just kind of threw it to the wayside. You know, you can still use Kieran to do your generic OTKs um, by bouncing the diamond back. It, it's a couple of extra steps, but you can still do it. Um, <laughs> I guess every once in a while you sacrifice consistency for something, and, you know, it just kind of comes back together in the long run. But to to see Sky Striker Pendulums not win another decently sized event uh, definitely kind of warmed my heart, you know. Like I said, when you're looking at this format, you will think of Sky Striker Trickstar, you know. The deck has a very high ceiling. You know, we know this. But throwing a wrench in their plans definitely kind of gets you there. You know, Electromite being another card that, you know, can generate more advantage. And just generically shit out these larger monsters... Is that what it takes to beat this deck? Uh, I don't know. I'm missing something. A friend of mine, uh, actually, I know you guys love fucking local reports. Ah, oh, they're so beautiful. Uh, we actually, my friend built Stun. We looked at a couple of the builds recently. Looked at a few things. My friend ended up just going and shitting on locals. You know, it's not a fantastic feat, but, you know... When your best matchups, you generically just shit on people with, you know, Inspect Border, Banisher of the Radiance. Banisher of the Radiance being a win condition built into the format besides Macro Cosmo, you know, leads me to, I don't know, maybe Stun's a good pick. You know, maybe it goes to show that this format hasn't been as discovered as we initially thought. You know, on top of being frustrated with the already bad end of match procedures, which people still think suck, but for some reason we're stuck with 45 minute rounds, I'll, I'll accept the end of time, just give me an extra 5 minutes and I'll feel better about myself, just saying, Konami, you heard it here, you can give us the extra 45 minute rounds, just leave the current into match procedures, we'll all feel better about ourselves, but in the grand scheme of things, kind of that's today's theme, it seems to be that way every day, format doesn't seem to be as discovered as we thought it was. There's gimmicky shit coming up. 
every once in a while. Stun being another fantastic option. Now, I'm not saying take stun to the WCQ, because you're probably going to get blown out across the floor and then end up crying and being like, no, some fat guy on the internet told me to play this. You know, fuck you, M. Glow 40. Like, d- don't do that to yourself, all right? You know, my opinion is usually my opinion only. It's usually shaped by the opinions of other people and the things I read on social media. Thank you, internet. You're polluting my mind. But it's that. So, Burning Abyss and Pendulum Magicians. This is like the comeback week before we uh, we have Senior Prom over here. Senior Prom is at WCQ. Can't wait to fucking see who the fuck's going to end up being the reigning champion. Probably going to be Sky Striker Trickstar, but you know what? As long as one or two people can throw a wrench in that uh, that plan of theirs, take over the world, I definitely got to, we'll see how it goes. That's all I got for this video, guys. If you enjoy supporting me and my blue shirts, the OGs. This really isn't an OG blue shirt, but at some point we will uh, be back on that. You know, just like this video, enable that bell notification, and I'm going to go cry myself to sleep. Hey right, guys, do Serenos. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.